This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today I'm going to show you how to change the orientation of an existing model and sketch in this case. This works for both if you want to just change the orientation of the model, but if you have both combined then this is the way you do for both as well. Uh, first thing I want to do is you notice this is my z-axis running this way, my y-axis is going up and x-axis is going across this way. If I was just going into C and C it, I could change the axis in there easily, but I'm not. The kids are going to use it, this as the zero, zero point. They're going to manually G-code all of their positions, and they're going to design this on this piece of aluminum. So this has to be zero, zero. This has to be the x-axis, and this has to be your y-axis, and this, of course, has to be z. In this case, it's not. So, and this is not zero, zero. If I was to check this right now, you can see it's, it's way off. It's not zero, zero. Okay, so there's a few things we've got to do. The very first thing is, I want to rotate the model holding my shift key down, which you probably already know, and I'm going to select this. Now we're looking up here in this particular thing. Don't worry about where the model is. We're just going to keep playing with this guy until the z-axis is there and the x-axis. So now this is my z, this is my x-axis, and then my y runs back and forth here. Come over here, select the drop-down menu, very important part. Set current view as home and select that. Now let's test it to make sure it worked. Shift key down, move the model in any old position, and click it, and yes, it's coming back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move the two, we're going to move the body, and we're going to move the sketch separately. So the very first thing I do is I'm going to right click, move copy, I'm going to change it to bodies. I'm going to select the body, which is this one, I'm going to rotate it, and I'm going to select the axis. The axis that you choose to move the body and the axis you choose to move the sketch has to be the same when they rotate. So I'm going to scroll in. I don't want to use this axis, which is the outside one. I want to grab the inside one right there. Click him. Rotate him down 90 degrees. And click OK. So he's down now in the new position. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I do the same thing again. I'm going to right click, repeat copy, right click, move copy. This time I'm going to select Sketch Objects, and I'm going to select this, and I'm going to select the axis. The axis must be this guy right here, the same one we did before. I'm going to select that axis, and rotate him around 90 degrees, bang, 90 degrees, and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to suppress this, I don't need him anymore, if I'm not moving the image, if you move it and you realize, oh, I forgot one of the antennas or I forgot something else, all you have to do is bring in your image back, sit on this face, line it up with your existing vectors, and, and redo it again that way, which is easy. For right now, though, I'm just going to come here and I'm going to suppress it so you can't see it. I'm going to go to the top view. And now what I want to do is I want to move everything into position 0, 0, 0. So I'm going to move, again, I'm moving one thing at a time. I can't move everything. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go, I need to write down a couple of dimensions. I need to I need a reference position. I'm going to move this to zero, zero. And then afterwards I need to move this as well. So I need to move it relative to this box. So I'm going to go inspect and I'm going to measure the distance from here to here. And try that again. Inspect from here to here. And you can see on that axis it's 14 millimeters and I've written down the 14 and I've written X beside it. And then I want to check inspect the distance from here to here. And you can see he's 8 millimeters and that's Y8. You can choose any position position at all on your, on your sketch. All you need is one position so that we can later on go and move this to the, to the same position. So I'm going to click close now. And I'm going to now move the object itself, the, this piece, move, bodies, select the body, which this one, and I'm going to use this one from a point to position. <laughs> from this point, I want to move it to 0, 0, 0. Okay. So now if I go inspect that position, you can see it's 0, 0, 0, perfect, which is exactly what I want. But this, this is not in the right spot. So now what I need to do is right click, move copy, select sketches this time, move him, highlight the whole thing, and I'm going to move him from point to position. From this point here, I'm moving him. 
select the point like that and now I need to tell it which position to move it to well we already know where it's going to be 14 millimeters which is already set set to 14 which is great we're going to select our what we're going to set our y-axis to 8 millimeters and Z0 which means it'll be on the top and you click OK and now if you come in here and I go bring it to the position now you can see my z-axis is up my x-axis is across my y-axis is this way and if I go inspect here that's zero, zero, zero. Perfect. So now the student can now go ahead and start programming everything in quad quadrant number one, Cartesian plane number one, which means everything is in positive, you know, positive X and positive Y. So hopefully that video helped. I know I struggled for a long time trying to figure out how to do that. I went all over the internet to try to find out how to do it and I was unsuccessful. And so when I did find it and figured it out, I knew I was going to need this video. So that's why I did. Thanks for watching.